Hey guys, this is Tony here from Superfly Car Magazine and GAC, and today we're in sunny England with Tom from McGuire's UK. Hello, Tom. How's it going, guys? All right. And we are in a very special project which the guys have been building for the last six months, and we've come over to do a photo shoot and show you guys. And obviously, a lot of you guys are from America, so you're going to definitely understand what this is. It's very rare for us over here. Um, so it's an interceptor, but what we're doing, we're inside now, we're going for a bit of a spin so you can hear the exhaust sounds. As you can hear right now, it's pretty damn loud. This is loud, I mean this thing is incredible. So we can go for a spin, Tom will let us know a bit about the project and then we're going to go outside at Maguire's UK head office and we're going to obviously show you guys the exterior, the boot install, the air rifle airlift and there's some really cool things that have been done to this. It's very subtle but it works amazing and it's like, it drives like a dream. Driving down here on these roads in England it's just incredible. So um, yeah we go for a spin, we're going to go on a dual carriageway, hopefully you can hear the exhaust notes and I'll Pull the outside of the window so you guys can hear. So I'm just gonna pull the window down now, so uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna try and get out and see if you can see the bonnet. It's uh, pretty damn loud. It's uh, just incredible. So um, obviously I'm with Tom here from McGuire's UK. So um, tell us a bit about this project, Tom, if that's cool. Where would you get the car from? I mean, obviously we're in England. Yeah, so yeah, we uh, we cashed in every little bit of luck that we had on this one, really. Yeah. We've been looking for quite a while for an interceptor here. Um, we come to terms with that we were going to buy a patrol car that was, um, you know, probably beat up, had a hard life on the beat, and we were going to restore it wrong but build a full on show car. Yeah. Um, the, the reality is that a lot of the a lot of the patrol cars were really, really beat up and uh, to make them how we want them for a car care company to look is was we're perhaps pushing our limits. Yeah. Um uh, cut, cutting it pretty pretty short, we stumbled across a guy a, a private collector in the UK um, and we actually went to look at a different car. And as he opened up his lockup, there was like Aladdin's cave for police cars. Oh, really? Um, and this was one of the vehicles there, and we actually didn't even take any. Uh, I've got a hand on it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's nuts. <laughs> we, uh, we ended up not looking at the blue car that we went to see, because uh, this car with 38,000 miles on the block yeah. was, uh, was sat there ready to be sold. Um, so, uh, you know, a couple of test drives and to make sure that everything was uh, as, as as parents would have it yeah. we, we took this girl away and uh, yeah, with a few modifications um, I think we've had a really big impact so we've had uh, custom hand uh, pinstriping done with protect and shine on the rear quarter sheriff's badges and, and other nice little touches from Maguire's uh, yeah. to make it a Maguire's car but not overly uh, rash really um, squad number on the roof uh, psychographics were kind enough to put a, a, a a vinyl on the roof for us, so 1901, the year that we were founded. That's cool. Again, just pretty cool stuff that tied in with our brand uh, and the, the theme of having a, a, a police car. Um, uh, Airlift and the install company are the biggest people, I guess, we've got to thank for getting this thing. Sure. The way it rides, it's, you know, it's two and a half ton. Well, it it rides doesn't well. feel like it, but no. more importantly, we really, we, we, I know it pushed Phil a lot. Um, and this thing is just crazy. When we when we air out, it's he's done a really good job. The front camera is just. Oh, I noticed it looks crazy. absolutely amazing. Yeah. 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 It drives so smooth. I'm, I'm yeah, actually it's... unbelievable. I mean, it drives. It drives almost like a new car. It's just crazy. Uh, yeah, EMP did a great great job on the exhaust. But you know, so as loud and as uh, attention seeking that it is, 70 mile an hour on the motorway. It's 2,000 RPM. This thing just cruises. Well, I feel it now. I think I might put out the window a little bit more for some more of the exhaust note. Okay. See if these guys want to hear. We're going to put out the window, guys, so brace yourself. Might be a bit of wind, but you'll hear the exhaust.
there we have it. You know, we've um, with some very minimum minimal uh, modifications. We've got a nice Kenwood system in here. Uh, you know, so it's nice for us to drive, yep. listen to. If uh, we're on a long journey, it's a lovely sound that we've got in here now. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. Really, awesome really stuff. Good to have to turn well, we're just heading back. We're almost at Ebergwise headquarters now in England, and so we're going to step out in a sec, guys. So if you hold on. You're going to be able to see the entire thing and it's, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're just going to love it. We've not seen one over here in England like this before. It's truly something, as a project car for a coming night, Maguire, it's, it's something that I think is really good. It's not doing the usual and it's proved, I mean, we're just driving around here, people's faces just dropping like anything, so. It's definitely the only one in Europe on air. I can imagine, I've never seen one until, um, until now, obviously. Yeah. Um, we drive is incredible. I'm just so absolutely impressed by the drive. It's so smooth. It's brilliant, isn't it? God, yeah, it's... I mean, it, it was a really big, wallowy old yank tank before. Yeah. It kind of still is, I guess, but it's just a bit that a bit smoother. Yes, uh, the airlift definitely does help out a lot, and obviously it shows that their stuff is really awesome. So, uh, okay, we're just arriving back in Maguire's. So we're going to park up and then show you guys this beast. So here we are at Maguire's headquarters. Another pretty cool thing that we've had done, we've had the 3H management, uh, digital management built in to make it look like a CB radio. Just <laughs> try and have little cool things. I mean, pretty much big gulps from in and out Burger. <laughs> uh, just try to be as American cop car as we possibly could. That is awesome. Let's go get it right. That is really cool. Well, I'm going to step outside and we can show you guys what it looks like. I'll stick the lights on as well. Oh, awesome, brilliant. Let's have a little look. I'm going, to, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you around the whole thing, it's brilliant. So... Okay, let's just close the door. Let's try and get... Oh, here we go. Look at this. How cool is this thing? Beautiful. I mean, if you guys have got any questions, by all means, please ask away. And we'll try and obviously provide you some answers while you're there. But um, let's have a look at the front. Can you tell us a bit about the front, Tom? Uh, yeah, so when we bought it, it didn't have the, uh, what, what the answer called it, the nudge bar. But uh, being a pursuit car, it's what the most standard fit American uh, pursuit cars will have. Yeah. Obviously to uh, look after, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the um, flashlight's so cool. We've uh, retrofitted the lights in as well. They, they, were, no, they, they all have to be removed when vehicles like that are imported into the UK. Yeah. Um, so we've had them fitted separately into the grill. And also the spotlight that we've had fitted, which I've researched and Oh, cool. so we've had it all pinched up since 1901 for our American brand. But also what's pretty cool, it, it is working, you won't see it in the bright sun. Yep. But you have a, a, all your control handle here. So this will actually spin around, you can spin it in here. And uh, you flick it on. And it will, <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah, and it is a pretty pretty bright light. Gosh, it is bright. Yeah, yeah. and it true. just flicks off here. So we had all this, is normally chrome, but all flapped out, all just to go. And I noticed obviously the pinstripe down the side of the Maguire's, I mean that is really, really cool down here. Yeah. Um, wow. Nefarious pinstriping did, uh, well, it's just a work of art. That's brilliant. Um, all hand, all hand painted, um, including the protection shine in the back, but to watch him do this and do the Maguire's logo all by hand is just uh, well, that is pretty some, special. That is really awesome though, he's actually he's done a great job. Obviously the pin, the pinstripe's down the side as well, to match the colours of the brand. Really nice. And what about that booting song? I'm curious to have a look what you got in yeah. there. Let's show the guys what's inside. And then maybe we can pull up near to the front entrance in the sun. Oh, here we go. Here you go, guys. That's the boot install. So as you can Try see, get it out of the, the way. The, wow. not, by, not by design, actually, but, um, but the carbon effects tied in pretty well. So Kenwood supplied us with the, the, the sub and the audio. Wow. But um, we wanted to go for the carbon tank, so car audio security supplied us with them. Um, seamless carbon tank, so there's a five gallon and a four gallon there. They're beautiful. Obviously she's a big old girl. Not sure if you can make out in the video, but you've got we've got the red and blue that runs in between as well, just to keep the police oh, thin. Yeah. I can um, see that. And actually the wells in the back where the manifold um, and the compressors are for the airlift. That's cool. But they're a giant boot. Absolutely huge. They're massive. You yeah. fit five bodies in there, I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Gosh, that is so good. Wow. Well, I'm just thinking, um, if you probably like raise her up and I can show the guys as it rises, and yep. then maybe park in front and we can get a nice shot with the sun. Yep. Give the guys an overall look. It'll be brilliant. Cool. Awesome. Thank you.
let's try and see this thing rise off the floor. Let's have a look, guys. Let's try and get a bit further back. So for the UK, we don't see these around, and these guys, the Maguire's UK, have done a fantastic job with this. A beautiful example. Um, like I say, just leave a comment, let us know if you've seen some of these before, but uh, in England, it's the first for me. See them loads in America when we go back to the West Coast, but in England, just uh, it's fresh to see some of the guys in the UK doing things like this. Oh, and it sounds so good. <laughs> so yeah, here we are, that's Maguire's UK in England. Obviously for you guys in America, this is the UK base, where everything happens for the Maguire's Europe. And look at that, just absolutely brilliant. I'm so pleased the sun's out here. see a little bit easier. There we go in the full sun. Absolutely awesome. Cool, well thanks guys for coming in. Thank you Tom for no showing worries. us and thanks going for guys. a quick ride. And yeah, so uh, it'll be a feature coming out soon. I'll let you guys know on, on Facebook. Stay with us. Any questions after this live shoot, just leave them in the comments. We'll get back to you guys and over and out. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys.